I'll get started. So James, just massive thanks for making some time uh, on uh, uh, this morning to talk to us and uh, and for battling through all the technical gremlins to get us to actually speak. Uh, I'm John Granger uh, and I uh, uh, do uh, 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 some work for certs in terms of interviewing people who've got interested in particular topics. And then we have an audience that kind of is very, very interested, particularly in agile and agile in the public sector, agile in um, secure environments. Before we get into any of that, um, James, would you be able to give us a little bit about your background, your, your interests and experience potentially around the sort of agile discovery space and, and security? Yeah, sure, no problem. I mean, I've, I've worked in a lot of uh, government environments. I've worked for the Foreign Office. I've been in Iraq. Uh, I've worked for all the big companies around in the UK that uh, deal with security and things like that. So basically, since 2003, I've been into this uh, in the, this kind of professional profession and uh, basically it started off I went out to Iraq and Qatar with the forces uh, as a civilian because I've got marine reserve background um, so that, that sort of encouraged us to go out there and uh, I went out there to help the forces basically during the Iraq, Iraq war and uh, Got into communications, uh, network side of things, and, and management side of things, and uh, proceeded from there. When I came back from there, I went into government work straight away. Basically, uh, I, I went into management actually, uh, like project management, running running uh, like s small uh, military sites, getting the infrastructure put in throughout the UK. Yeah. Since then, I've worked for quite a few different companies, uh, IBM, BT, uh, DXC, HP, uh, Lockheed Martin, Rolls-Royce, uh, just to name a few, probably. Wow. So, James, it's, so it's no mystery uh, as to why uh, certs have picked you as a oh. guest then. And uh, just incredible um, uh, experience and background you just gave us. And... Um, not the topic for this uh, interview, but I bet you've got lots of interesting stories that some that you can share and some that you can't for obvious yeah. reasons. So if, if some folks watching this um, in secure uh, sector and they're going to go through their first kind of, you know, looking at agile, working at the sort of the discovery stage, but um, in the secure environment, if you if you sort of said, oh, there's probably three things most people get wrong or Rather than saying get wrong, they learn. Yeah. You know, there's a lesson learnt kind of thing, or they yeah. find something. Yeah. What What's the top things you think that folks that are new to this, uh, that kind of at the end of it go, oh, I wish I'd done this more, or I don't. You know, what's what's that kind of learning? Do you, you know? Think, what I for, think for I, I, I really think like planning ahead is one of the main things that people don't think of. The 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 write these plans out and they think I can do it in I don't know three months, two months, whatever the job is supposed to be. You know, six month jobs. And they don't think of the outcomes of potentially what could go wrong. You need you need you need some space in your program where things can go off beat a little bit and go off track, and and you've got a plan for that because it always does no matter what. I mean, the, yeah. People say oh it'll run smoothly, but there's always little things that run off track, and and you, you may somebody may be off sick for six weeks. Do you know what I mean? Indeed. And you've got yeah. you've got to have like a reinforcement for that, or or someone else that can come in, take the yeah. place, or, or I don't know. If there's something might go wrong in a program. There, there might be access problems where yeah. clearance isn't available. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you've got you've yeah. got to think of that. So it's, it's always it's, it's always really interesting think, you're saying yeah, it's always, about someone being poorly for a few weeks because. Uh, it's not just a well. We need to get another engineer with X Y Z skills. It's with X Y Z skills and cleared at the right yeah. level. You've just got. You've always got that other dimension to think about, yeah. haven't you? But if if, if yeah. these companies or, or however you mean plan ahead, they'll they'll get these people organised with the clearances at the beginning, not at the end, or not 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 halfway through the job start saying, oh well, we need this, we need that. You should yeah. be thinking at the beginning before you start a job, really. And, that's Got that's it. planning ahead. That, that's yeah. before you do the plan, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan for the plan. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it, it, it's no good. Like, 
asking for people at the end of the job because I mean I mean I've been called in at the end of jobs before and it's just ridiculous sometimes because you you come in at the end and you, and you don't really know what it is that's been happening beforehand and you you're there to try and troubleshoot basically yeah. and, and it's 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 yeah. not always a good scenario. Yeah, yeah, very good. But, uh, Think about security uh, compliance to start off with. You know, secure environments. They have very strict um, requirements around them, um, and those can include, you know, data privacy, access controls, all sorts of things. Yeah. And if you think about discovery being the act of trying to, you know, gather all the information, yeah. that that sounds really difficult to kind of do a discovery when actually, you know, things are for for the right reasons locked down. So, w w what's that like? Uh, you know, yeah, is, that, is that a really difficult challenge or not? Yeah, well, it will be a challenge. I mean, you've got to look at the physical environment for a store and then the operations of the security that's going to be put in place, system acquisition, etc., communication, security, asset management, uh, human resources, everything. Like ISO 27001 relates to uh, and put that in place and, 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 and put it in, in perspective to, to, to a discovery position. Do you know what I mean? Well, James, have you, have you ever had a scenario where you've been working on a project at some sort of stage and you've got a third party involved, um, you know, they're, maybe they're a technology provider or something like that, yeah. but their permissions aren't the same as your permissions. They can't see as much as you can see, yeah. and, but, they've, but they're, you know, being engaged to work with, you know, part of the solution. How do you manage that kind of differences where you might have some stakeholders who just don't have the permissions to see the full picture? I'm just just yeah. wondering how. Well, first how you of all, you've got that. first of all, you've got to you've got to let them know what they can and cannot see. I mean, there's the secret, there's top secret. Do you know what I mean? There's, yeah. There's places where, where I mean, I've worked in top secret places when I was at Nocky Martin. I mean, I can't go into everything when the new aircraft came over from, from the states. You know, the F-35s. Uh, and I mean, you, you just can't tell everybody everything. I mean, but there's there's the, most of the information is there for them to, to, to grasp. It's just a case of like the certain parts of it that they, they're not allowed to see. Uh, and and that, that is critical information. But normally, if you're bringing a company in that doesn't need to see this critical information, there's no need for them to see it anyway. So it's a classic need to know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's classified. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean they, they'll know themselves what, what their job is and how far they can take it without going in. They don't need to go into the yeah. top secret areas to, to find out what they already know what they're going to do. <laughs> James, have you have you ever had a situation where you've had to kind of look at the look at the, the setup and go, actually, uh, these folks need more access? Oh, of course, uh, And then yeah. go back, at, you know, how do you manage that? Yeah, I mean, well, if that's the case, you can get sort of a guided tour in, into the information place but I mean obviously they can't be left alone do you know what I mean so the, yeah they're accompanied or yeah they're accompanied all, all yeah. the time or chaperoned whichever yeah. word you want to use do you have extra people on the uh, on the team that are kind of chaperoning or keeping uh, no, no normally or... it's just uh, one of the guys who just right. if he's got a spare yeah. half an hour or something like that you don't have actually yeah, I mean, sometimes the military will do it if you're on a military site. Yeah, you, you, you can ask for like the air force to, yeah. to provide someone or, or the army or whoever, wherever it is that you're working. But basically speaking, it's just one of the one of the guys if he's got a spare half hour. I was thinking, you know, the environments, you, all the places that you mentioned, yeah. which you know just is incredible. I just you know, in my mind, you know, I don't have any knowledge uh, of working. I've worked in a one or two of those places, but. Um, but what I was thinking is those are really heavy engineering environments. Yeah. Um, so maybe this isn't really kind of in the secure space, but it's definitely in the engineering space where, you know, sort of one, one of the things they say about agile is don't get buried under documentation, you know, keep the documentation light. Yeah. You, know, you want to move quickly and all the rest of it. But, you know, certain engineering principles, especially when it's kind of, you know, the sort of stuff that you can imagine uh, would be within the secret space. Yeah, uh, I would imagine needs probably quite a bit of documentation, etc. So, did you oh, ever come up, uh, come against that kind of look? We want to move in an agile way, but actually, yeah. we're having to do a lot of documentation. How, have it, 
How does yeah, that sort well, of reconcile well, the documentation is just enormous, really. Yeah. <laughs> It takes yeah. over. I mean, yeah. the planning and, and everything else that goes in and in, in providing some security environment. I mean, it, it's you, you, you've got to, you've got to have plans. You've got to have all the documents coming in. You've got to have passes for relative people. Yeah. I mean, everything everything comes down to what what sort of category you're going to go and what classification you're going to have to get into certain areas. So all yeah. that's got to be documented. Yeah. The, the history of what they're doing. I mean, you can't just let anybody in. So obviously, yeah. documentation about that yeah. will be black, red in in certain areas. Do you know what I mean? And it's just it's just a nightmare, really. Like all the documentation that you're talking about. But yes. It's it's just uh, obviously you've got to try and minimise it to to get people to work. Otherwise, they'll yeah. never get the work done. <laughs> yeah, but that, it sounds like what you're saying is that's just a reality of the secure environment. You know, Agile says let's be light on documentation. Yeah. But there is just a, you know, there's a minimum set that you have to provide because of the requirements of keeping everyone secure. And Everybody has the same psyops and yeah. uh, the classification. I mean, yeah. entry entry forms. So if, if for to go into a top secret area, you, you, you'd have to sign a form to say you, you're going in, even on a temporary measure. Yeah. So everything everything's got to be categorised and, and sort of signed off. And yeah. It won't be signed off by one person either. It'll be signed off by a you know a hierarchy of people. So yeah. it just goes through the process. And I mean, it is a nightmare, especially for top secret areas. Sure. Uh, not so much for secret and restricted, but top secret is just an yeah. absolute nightmare to get people in and out of. So um, actually, what I think what you're saying is, um, and I suppose it's pretty intuitive, is uh, depending on the level of of secrecy you know where you are you know that the burden is is more you know so at the very top level it's it's got a lot more restrictions than than yeah than oh definitely on. i mean restrictive yeah yeah, yeah you can get people in and, and do the work and, and chaperone them no bother really and yeah it's sometimes secret but but top secret like as you just yeah. it's 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 hard to get in yourself sometimes no matter yeah. when you get other people in do you know what i mean <laughs> but all for good reason. All for good oh, of reason. Of course, I mean, yeah. Uh, it, but this yeah, is, I mean, this is it, isn't it? You can't lose sight of why it's secret or top secret. Yeah, yeah? it's and national that's the whole, security. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, people's lives are at stake. So yeah. Yeah. You, when you when you're dealing with things like that, you just can't let anybody in and out. Of, so the, I mean, the doors are all the security locked and everything. I mean, yeah. You, you, there's no access unless you. You, you, you've got to you've got to press all the right buttons to get in anyway sure yeah um, and just for the avoidance of doubt anyone watching this we're not going to provide what those buttons are uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> i was just thinking so uh, one of the one of the principles i live by uh from my own tech um <clears throat> experience which is you just have to start everything off uh with security yeah, um, yeah. and i'm not talking about your secure environments i'm just talking you know business yeah. environments any environment because normally if it's an afterthought whatever it is you've created it's impossible almost impossible to kind of reverse engineer security in yeah you know that's just one of those things so you just regret it forever if you don't think about it you have to throw yeah, it away you gotta, start again you've got to think of things at the, at the beginning not at the end yeah uh, yeah it's that kind of environment i mean it's no good it's no good putting a plan together and then thinking oh, i'll just jump a few hurdles on the way around it's not like that when you when yeah. you introduce security the environment the, I mean, yeah. like I say, there's there's rules and regulations with ISO twenty seven thousand and one, yeah. and, uh, and there's network that that, that, that stops stop things going going ahead. You yeah. know what I mean? Every, everything's got to be secure, and you've got to follow the processes no matter what. Yeah. You, you speed things up by getting things signed off a bit quicker, yeah. and uh, getting people to do the work a little bit quicker. But at the end of the day, you yeah. still got to go through the the hurdles. Yeah, there's no shortcuts. Yeah, exactly. I got a couple more questions on sure. on this sort of topic uh, that, that we're discussing. So, uh, again, going back to kind of uh, sort of agile principles, you know, we, we we're in a team, we collaborate, we're communicating. It's yeah. all that kind of first amongst equals. Everyone can talk about everything else. Secure environment that might be a bit of a challenge. There might be. Yeah, you know, I'm just wondering how. Do you just have a really small core team? Everyone in that core team has got equivalent privileges so you can all speak or or, or you know is that a, is it challenging doing the comms well the thing the, the thing is like uh, 
if you work in an environment where security is involved or high security, you're going to have most of your team is going to be security cleared to a certain level. Yeah. Now, them levels will depend on what they're working on. So not everybody will have high security. Some will only have like um, SC clearance for, yeah. as, an, as an instance. And uh, that would be used for for most of the work, basically. As far as like DV and extra clearances, that will only be for the top secret and whatever's got to be used there. But to to for the agile environment, I mean, in most cases, you'll just be using either restricted, you, you'll be in the restricted market rather than the, the secret market. Do you know what I mean? Got it. And, so, uh, and most of most of the work can get done. It's only at the later stages when you, because it's normally left the later stages. There'll be there'll be work to be done in these other environments where only certain people are allowed to go in, or yeah. you know the access is only allowed to certain people. And it it has been for me and a few other people at the time. You know they'll just they'll just you just get the call and just say, well, you know this little bit of work's got to be done now. Can can some yeah. one of you guys go in and do it? And, and that that would be about it, really. Have you have you ever been in a situation, James, where you've had a team, uh, everyone's SC cleared or something like that, but actually you can see down the road that some of the team are going to have to move into, you know, not have to, but would be useful for that uh, that that group to move into uh, the the next stage and might require sort of DV or something yeah. like that. Do you see that often, or is it normally, you know, is that rare? No, no, it's not rare. It's just. Uh... It's not normal either. I mean, it's, yeah. it's you, you, what you've probably got is you've got certain people that go into certain areas and, and them are the ones that are picked, you know, the, with, the, with the, the experience that's needed to go into yeah. them areas and, and them are the ones that will have the, the high clearances. And, well, he, and, 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 and you'll know who they are yeah. and they'll be called upon as yeah. and when the work needs to be done, do you know what I mean? And, that's and, a, that's and, a really interesting... To, It'll be it, the organisation of it's still still difficult because you've got to get other people involved that are, that have got the same kind of clearance that can allow the allow the people into the areas. Yeah. So there's you know it's, it's, it's sort of a, a process that's got to be got anticipated it. earlier. Got it. So so with that in mind, then do you, do you do you have you ever had the scenario where the pool of people that you know or that are available who, that have DV clearance, for example, isn't big enough for the projects you want to do or and you know, not naming, you, I don't think it, you've worked in so many different areas. I think you can be general about this. Have you ever been in a situation where you've had to pick someone because of their clearance over their kind of technical skill? Do you know what I mean? Where you yeah, kind of had to skin. make a bit of a yeah. compromise because yeah, you wasn't... have to compromise sometimes. You have to possibly use somebody who's who hasn't got possibly all the skills that you need, but knows some of the skills, but has the clearance, or you can use them. To, to possibly chaperone someone, do you know what I mean? But Got it. Even, but that would have to be signed off. To, yeah. To make that 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 can't be just done. Yeah. On the spot, like it would have to be thought of, and yeah. it would be a last minute thing that because. Yeah. I think I think everybody would be more prepared than that. I don't think they would leave it to the last minute for for something yeah. like that. Is what had to be done. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I think all I'm getting, uh, James, all the way through our chat is you're just th having to think about security. Just yeah. literally every other sentence you're thinking, it's it's just running all the way through exactly. the process, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just right from the beginning to the end, you've got to think security all along the agile. I mean, you, you, you can't jump hurdles. It's, no. You, yeah. you, you, you want to... You want to do the sprint, as you said, at the, at near the end, but at the, at the same time, you've got to, uh, yeah. you've got to have security in mind, uh, yeah. and security will always hold jobs up. <laughs> yeah, it always yeah, does. Course. Well, it, you either view it as holding the job up, James, I suppose, or you say it's part of the job. It's part of the yeah, architecture. Yeah. You know, it's it's. Uh, you you build um, it into the program, basically. Yeah, you build it in it. from the beginning, so you don't you don't you don't expect it to hold the job up. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's possible that it does, but yeah. in most cases, it's built into the job. So, uh, the the program will be set out with security in mind before yeah. you. Well, it should be anyway. I mean, yeah. in, in the environments I've worked in, it always has been. So, I would expect that to be done yeah. in other environments as well. Absolutely, and then I'm just thinking about um, testing. 
um, validation, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, everyone thinks about security and testing. Everyone says pen test. Uh, if if that's you know, depending on the sort of work you're doing, etc. But you know, that's I mean, in the I'm going to say civilian, but I know um, that the secure environment isn't just military. Yeah, uh, but, yeah. but for me, you know, we, we do. There's a, there's a lot uh, of work you know required around testing, etc. And they can have really long lead times yeah. uh, to get them arranged. I'm just wondering um, in that initial stage whether you know is that another example where you've got to think quite far ahead about organising you know security testing and and and, and all of those. All yeah, I think you put it into your program. You don't just leave it to the last minute and say, "Oh, you yeah. can test that." I mean, because sometimes they take a few weeks to get it organised, maybe longer. Do you know what I mean? It just depends. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not everybody's a pen tester. Including no. myself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. you just got you've got to build it into your into your, your pattern of program. Uh, you have got to think. You got you got to plan things out. The the, the very beginning of, it, of any program is planning. You get you've got to get that right with security and everything else that goes along with it. Do you know what I mean? You can't just jump into a program and say right, we'll go ahead with it and start hoping for the best. You you you've got to you've got to have a plan at the beginning of some yeah. kind. So brilliant. So, uh, so, 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 James, what what I've heard is that we can we can we can use our agile principles, um, but but it has to be founded on security best practice, yeah. and security has to be this thread that runs all the way from the beginning to the end. And exactly. There's, there's no short cutting. It's no short cutting, but you and can, there's a, you can, and there's a lot of planning. Yeah, plan ahead, uh, include security. But at the same time, your you, your program should run smoothly if everything's done correctly in the first place, and you have the the right people there that's involved. Yeah. And I think so, that's 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 the main yeah. thing. Get thinking thinking ahead of time before you before you even plan a program. You're thinking, well, who do I need? What 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 do I need to, to get this job done? It's no good. Yeah. It's no good going into a job and, and planning it all and saying, right, we're going in. Now now we'll start employing people. Yeah. You've, got to, you've got to get them in in front of the job, not at the, at the back of the job. Well, I've I've done a few. I've I've not worked in the secure environments to the extent that you have. Yeah. And um, you know, so just massive hats off to you, uh, for for all that experience you've got and everything that you've done. Um, and uh, just wanted to say, you know, thank you very much for sharing, uh, your experience with us. Um, and uh, you know, I've caught caught uh, lot lots of information which I think would be really interesting to folks. Who are mm -hmm. kind of looking into this area? So you've given us a really good insight. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks very much. I mean, I quite enjoyed it. To be perfectly honest, it's uh, a pleasure being talking to you, and uh, hope I hope I've helped you. <laughs>